Hello, welcome back everybody. Um, hopefully this is being released the same day we released episode one. When was it? Friday? Um, sure. Right before we ended the last episode, we accepted this quest to go to Caldera because there's some uh, uh, egg poachers. Only in, the, only in the Elder Scrolls universe can you be a poacher of eggs. Okay. Oh yeah, and I just realized um, we have no armor. Hold on. How much gold do we have? We have 370. Let's go. Let's actually go get some armor. If we did Wait. Please. What if we did this whole let's play with just an iron hill? No, gosh. No. Because, you know, Morrowind is one of those games where, like you said, it's very involved and, you know, at some yeah. point it would become a huge handicap. What's this, oh, yeah, definitely. What's this guy's store? Uh, Meldor? Meldor Armorer? Bump. Okay. If I can help, I will, but don't take too much time. Actually, there kind of is. Oh shit! Okay, great, great way to start off this video. Our... Okay. Are we gonna do this again? Uh, oh no! Oh no! I forgot. Yeah. So you guys don't know anybody who's watching this. When Cyberpunk first came out, I would just I would do these time loops to where I would just <laughs> I would quick save, then I would quick load. So fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just I would quick save. And then, uh, and then I would wait till an NPC said some random banter, and then based off the banter, I would kill them, and I would judge whether or not they deserve to live. <laughs> it's it's so. Based on their appearance. Yeah. Oh yeah. And based Some off of them the. Look jank as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And it was since it's cyberpunk, you know, it's like, oh, you know, it's it's literally the 2077, so everybody has you know this colored hair, this colored hair. If you didn't look like yours from Twitter, you would. I can't yeah, 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 yeah. I know, right? Yeah. If if you look like <laughs> if you look like you're somebody who has a check mark on Twitter, then we killed you. Council seat of House Kalalu. Also, so like, there's a lot more factions in 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 Morrowind than there are in like other games, right? Future games. Like in Morrowind, I think there's like like twelve factions, right? Um. And so there are the great houses, right? You have Halalu, Redoran, and uh, Telvani. Telvani is the leave me alone to my experiments, magical experiments. Halalu is just, um, I don't know, Britain. And then uh, Red Redoran is like the actual, like, we uphold honor and, you know, duels and stuff like that. So we're probably going to do Halalu because it, money. All right. Uh, because because we're ignored. We're, we're stupid. You know, to your, like, look at this. Look at this. Look, look. He doesn't know. So he sees shiny gold coin and he thinks that's good. So we're gonna join Halalu, but not anytime soon. Okay, let's actually. Can we buy some armor here? Nordic troll bone helm. That's what we're buying. All right, so we got our armor. Put that on. Iron boots. That's as far as this is. What the hell? Are we? Yeah, we're literally wearing the the skull of a of a troll. That's actually kind of cool. It's imposing as hell. Oh yeah, I forgot. <sighs> Straight up, you could just take money in these crates. Who's putting money in those crates? That's the real thing. Okay, so there's actually two ways to get to Caldera. We can walk there, which is what we're gonna do. But you can also use the Mages Guild to. Um, I don't even think you have to be a part of the Mages Guild. You could just go to the mages guild and they can just teleport you to their guild in caldera right that's cool yeah which is really cool you know people say that you know morrowind doesn't have fast travel well what they really mean is that you can't actually you know you can't like go right here on the map and then actually click it and say fast travel no there's ways to do it there of course there's the silk strider then there's the they're called i think they're actually called, considering that magic exists it, make, it makes it makes more sense to for you teleportation could, you, you could have a map artifact that has that functionality it, it might be more limited than what we're used to in video games but i think that could actually be done actually uh, theoretically it, no in this game there are two spells called mark and recall and if i like say if i mark right here and then i go all the way to like the top of the map and i and i and i cast Recall, then it takes me right back here where I casted it. So it's basically just a portable uh, magic no, mirror from Terraria. No, no, it's it's exactly like the magic magic mirror from Terraria, except it's 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 a spell. You're not actually carrying an item that allows you to do that. I mean, there are items that 
are enchanted to do the recall spell or the mark spell, but you know, Teodor's probably too dumb. Look at him. He doesn't even know why he's running. He's so dumb. But what what I meant like was was like a, a one in um a unique map, right? But it's an artifact. It's like a physical thing that you open up and then you then you touch the thing. Oh, okay, I know what you mean. Wow, that's cool. That that's um Sounds a lot like Harry Potter. Like uh, it was like in Harry, in, yeah. Harry, in Harry Potter, there was a map to the whole school, and it showed you everything. It showed you where every was, every everywhere everyone everyone else was, but you couldn't use it unless you openly admitted. Um, what was it? I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which which is kind of cute. I like that. That was pretty. We literally fought nothing, right? Right. This is what makes Morrowind so intimidating. Is that when people see when people hear the word no hear the phrase there's no fast travel they think that you're going to have to like fight everything on their way i mean you know there's cliff racers but still shanks shovel yeah the the funny pterodactyl enemy oh actually this is caldera this is where um i <laughs> it's one of my favorite places in this game so far the the gorak manor right when you think of orcs the stereotypical orc you think of just savages right Right. It's just a bunch of orcs that are completely non-related to each other. Look. Yes. It, yes. Look, look, look there's, I'm assuming this is ash. Right? And then there's bottles everywhere. And then, look. Oh, this is him. This is Gorak. He he owns this manor. You know, there's all this stuff. Uh, what's this? Night falls on Sentinel. Oh, you get... Blunt weapon increased to 46. Hey, we actually... That's what we major in. Major in. Yeah, because we're, we're getting a degree. Uh, we're in college, in school. Yeah, two older. Look at that face. Yeah, he totally looks like he's, you know, you know, MD, PhD, DDS, you know. Yes. yes. Yeah, he looks, he looks dead inside. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know. Oh, it, so it's accurate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, it, yeah, yeah. Because by the time you've gotten, like, those three degrees, you're already dead inside. Yeah, so, like, they're just living in, you know, they're just living in squalor, being, you know, barbaric, random scamp. Uh, and that... <laughs> This is the only reason that makes this whole. This is the only thing that makes um, this whole building um, worth something is that he's called Creeper, and you can barter with him. And since he's a creature, he doesn't have a disposition. So if something costs two thousand, he will give you two thousand. Yes. Yeah. So you can buy skooma off of him, and it's funny because, and this is this is why I like how they attach the lore to gameplay. If you have skooma in your inventory. I'm pretty sure, like, 99%, there might be some exceptions, like, Argonians and Khajiis will always still do business with you, but somebody who doesn't, who has, like, a, a you know, a lawful good moral compass, they said, hey, get rid of that skooma, I won't do any business with you. Armor, heavy armor, hand-to-hand, -hand restoration, blunt weapon, long blade. Short blade, yeah, wait, wait, hold on. Actually, let's sell this. Iron dagger for one gold. How about that, Zycon? <laughs> Alright, guys, we basically beat the game. Halalu can suck. Say your business. No. What? Wait, that's the voice actress for in Oblivion for all the Khajiits and the Argonians? Yeah. What the hell? I was about to mention that. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying that. You know, I'm not saying that. Who? I'm surprised to hear to to hear that specific voice actor. I'm I'm surprised to hear that specific voice actor doing a race that she usually is not meant for, or known for. I mean, it's not surprising. I mean, if you might as well reuse the team that you used to make uh yeah wins to make oblivion yeah like i think west johnson was here what, what, this was this, I, I think west johnson was here with bethesda like i think he's still with them like there are some eso content you know where shay Gorath is involved and he still voices him some other guy like i think the guy who voices red guards in oblivion he of course it's that first guy you know when like you you open up like you're in the ship at the beginning of this game you open up and that one guy says, here, take this left, and then you see the first guard in the game, right? Yeah. And he's right. red. Yeah, that guy. Okay, so actually, here's the thing. Um, I may be wrong on this, but these... <sighs> um... <laughs> I just realized something. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be... Some people who... If anybody's watching this, you already know how bad I've messed up right now. I haven't really messed up. It's just I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I'm currently doing the mission that I think I'm on right now is actually the next mission after this mission we're currently doing. <laughs> Save. Hey, I'll be like. Fetcher. No, stop. 
Ah, she has weird voice lines for damage. No, get up. How does an arrow make you? Actually, knock you over in this game. Yeah, it's really annoying. And so, and if you're out of uh, fatigue, like you stay on the ground. No, no. Are you excited or are you in pain? It's probably both. Fire shield. See, are we gonna be one of those uh, players that you know we collect all these potions that we never use? Actually, Morrowind. Yes. Actually, Morrowind. It's one of those rare games to where you should actually pay attention because there might actually be a spell, a potion that you might have to use. Rest was interrupted by Hakos. <laughs> okay, all right. Rest until healed. Oh, it was interrupted again by oh no, an assassin. Yeah, this is this is weird. What level are we? Literally level one. Okay, and this is this is DLC right here. Okay, um, tribunal DLC. Please stop. By the way, I think this assassin he has the second best light armor in the game. So literally, if you're doing a light armor build. You just have to wait until this guy comes to kill you, <laughs> and then you're, you're set for like the rest of the game. Your journal has been updated. Silver daggers, uh, but oh, but look, look what the cure sells for a thousand. So we can go straight back to creeper, get a thousand. <laughs> the helm, two hundred. Look at the pauldron, five hundred each. Okay, now can I rest again? Interrupted by Hakos again. Awesome. <laughs> can I rest? Thank you. All right. Now, okay, that's so bizarre. Just, okay, try and translate all this into the real life. Toyota just stood here for like three hours. Some random guy came here to assassinate him, failed. Toyota made his body disappear. Two rats killed him, and now he's like, oh, okay, now I can go inside. <laughs> you, you can't translate gameplay into real life. It gets really uncanny. <laughs> what? Yes. Arg. Quote. Please don't. You're probably right, but hold on. Wow, I'm actually. What the hell? Why do these NPCs talk to talk about themselves in third person? Just come on, come on, man, come on, come on, just die. Arg. It's. I forgot about that line in the game. By the way, look at this. This is the hell. Gosh, she's so dumb. He does not care. Borderline Super Saiyan does not care. You know, you really don't care when you go Super Saiyan and your hair doesn't grow. <laughs> <laughs> so, he has no hair. Iron Longsword. Let's do this because it has it has uh, enchantment on it. Wow. Okay. So we technically. So the mission. With the with the egg poachers, um, that's what we're technically on right now, right? But the mission after that is what we just did. We just did it. So, because I'm, I'm I'm too ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm thinking too far ahead in this game. More gold. Who specifically? Who is the person who puts specifically any range from one to ten gold in these in these crates? Who does this? Is there like one entity in this world that sets up the crates and dungeons and like they just randomly just pick a number between 1 and 10, and then they say, that's how many gold pieces I'm going to put in the containers. Rusted chest. Lock level 10. Trapped. Okay, so this is... Do we have a probe? By the way, yes, they're called probes. It's nice. Okay, so let's see if we can tank the trap. If we can unlock this. Wow. All right, let's see if we can take the trap. Tank the trap. Okay. Wow, we did it. And for what? Restore strength. <laughs> yes. Okay, look at these. Look. Undesized, unhinging. Uh -oh. Open 40 to 60 points untouched. So that this, this is literally just a free unlock a chest or a door. Anything that's locked. All right, so RIP these people. Oh, I, I read unhinging as in say something extremely stupid. I yeah, think. I had a feeling you would think that. <laughs> look at this shadow. That's creepy as hell. What's that one SCP? Where's like the shadows are like alive and stuff? I don't know. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> that walk cycle. Huh? Oh, this? Approaches. Uh, the pay uh, approaches. <laughs> Kill <Kyo> Renewer. <laughs> you know what he, she looks like? She looks like she has male parts and. Oh. It's a very hot day. Yeah. This better 
be important. No, it's not. So you can go along. So just look. You just got. <laughs> I much... wish I could do this in real life. I know, right? I wish I can be randomly assaulted, kill that person, and then just sell his clothes and get rich. <laughs> that was me making fun of what you just said. It's like, oh man, I wish I could be a. Uh, my have my life attempted. <laughs> Somebody attempt. Specific, I meant specifically the getting rich part. Yeah, I know. Agua. What? Yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A acrobatics increased to sixteen percent. Acrobatics is always acrobatics and athletics are always the two. No matter where you have them, if you're if it's your major skills, your minor skills, or your miscellaneous skills, it doesn't matter. That skill, those two skills are always going to be the ones that, that go up really fast because if you just keep just yeah. jumping. No, it seems like in Morrowind, whatever your ma minor major skills are, that, that's like, you know, it more, it, it bottlenecks the, the uh, you know, the, uh, the, the possibilities of what kind of character you can play. While in Oblivion, in Skyrim mostly, the, the whole skill system is, is based off of you know, you could play one-handed, you know, for, you know, you could become a master and you do it all the way. But even though you're at the end of the game, you can still cast spells as if, you see what I mean? Because, like, yeah. you know, you can always be a jack of all trades, you know. But in Morrowind, you, you actually have to specifically. <sighs> oh, no. Wow. <sighs> <sighs> you know what? This is it. This is why his face is like that. Not a lot of pretty. What? Yeah. Good. So these are th these are the Quarma eggs. They look really creepy. They look like balls of energy. This is a worker. Cause it works like a hive, right? Right. And so you think? You see, this is a forager, like. These are the ones that are supposed to protect the hive. You think the big ones like that would be the soldiers, right? Arg. Arg. Right. But these annoying caterpillar things like Kwama Cuddle, I don't know what that is. No, they glow in the dark Don't too. stand about. Don't stand about as I walk past you. It's epic music for this. Oh my gosh. I like how the other egg mine workers are just like, okay with, the, oh no, the, oh no, the, there they are. Oh no, go away. No, come on. I already have to kill, he, no. Teodor's, okay, he's coughing now. I don't know why. Uh, fortify health, sure. Wait, do it again? Okay, sure. Increase strength, but yes, we're, we're stupid. So we're supposed to do that. What a bizarre thing to do in the middle of battle just chug like you know like 40 ounces like half a liter of just booze This is <laughs> what I don't have enough magic to cast it okay Can that subtitles please go away thank you Intelligence and willpower is at zero. <laughs> Gosh. And look at our class, Jarhead. Yeah, you can't get any worse than those people. Mm. Oh. What? Did he enjoy that one? Uh, You're probably right. Look how much health we have. There is no way this is happening. Okay. <laughs> how, 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 how are you going to do this? I don't. I don't think enemies can follow you out of cells. I don't think they can. What? Oh, oh he can just do that. The forager. The uh, fucking caterpillar. <laughs> That's the thing that just. Really? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, rest until uh, wait until healed. And we go back in as if nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> So she waited there for X amount of hours. This is <laughs> this isn't cheating. It's just, this is the gameplay. 
You end. Uh, oh, okay. There's the funny insult. There's the funny insult. Yes, do the funnies. Oh wait, I can also do this. <laughs> By the way, the queen, the Quarma queen, looks so disgusting. It's just there's something about it. It's just. Maybe see it. It's so. <sighs> Damn it. Hopefully. No, no, it's just, I don't know. There's something about the low poly graphics that just, I don't know, that makes all that just horrible. This episode so far has been, oh, oh my, my God. how does this happen? It's like the turtles in DRG. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, this Khajiit, actually, Revere, Trader, yeah. He sells, um, Revere knows where you hear <laughs> Daedric weapons, right? So you can actually, like, straight up, you just buy Daedric weapons. Actually, how much gold do we have? We have 3,000. Um, we don't have spear, short long blade. 9,000 gold. What game are we playing again? No, just kidding. <laughs> no, my memory is not that bad. Okay. Unlike some other person we've seen before. <laughs> okay, hey, um, head on. Okay, um, yes. Oh, can I clip through her? Are these technically nudes? What's the status on those egg poachers, associate? Don't make me assign this to another person. How can you if it's done? You got both of them? Good. Here's your payment. 100 septums. And we've got some extra potions from a recent raid. What raid? And, and if there is a raid, can I join in on it? You know, I'm, you know I literally have zero intelligence. Uh, we have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Tovani agents. Done. <laughs> Guess we already did it. Four Tovani agents are responsible. Wait. Done. All right, there we go. <laughs> you got all four? Good. That'll make some people at Caldera Mining Company very happy. Here's 400 septums. Caldera Mining Company pays well. And are you ready for more orders? What's her next orders? Oh, yeah. I think her next mission locks you out of the Thieves Guild. Okay. Um, Straight up. Yeah, yeah, it does. Because you have to steal something from the Thieves Guild. And that's like literally the main tenet of the Thieves Guild is don't steal from the Guild. Oh, right. All right. So here's this thing. So since we're part of the Guild, right? It's a fighter guild equipment chest, so anybody could just come in here and just get some supplies, right? But the thing that bothers me is that this, everything that you find in here replenishes every three in-game months. I would have knocked that down to weeks, okay? Like, do you guys how long, you know, a month is in this game? Um. Right. Okay, let's see. Oh! There we go. Alright, and uh... <laughs> Any chance we got? You're so tiny. What are you? This guy's name is weird. Look how he spelled his name. Wayne. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. I'll specifically wait all day just to keep you waiting. <laughs> the way that uh, that a lot of quests uh, quest lines are set up is that this game is assuming that you've used trainers to level up a lot, a certain skill, right. and so training is kind of like I mean, yeah, technically you could go out and fight enough stuff and then level up that way, right? But really, the game highly insists that you do training, right? Because there's, there's a huge difficulty curve that may or may not exist, depending on whether how much training you did in that particular skill. So what do you... Good, what, good thing we know a certain character to where we can sell our shit at. Uh, yeah, I know, right? Oh, no, there's even a better one. Um, there's a, literally a mud crab. And there's no... There's no tell tell sign that he is a merchant he's a drunk mud crab and he starts off his base gold is 10,000 so if you have a lot of weapons that are over 10,000 sell one to him at 10,000 wait 24 hours do it again over and over again <laughs> that's the base game <laughs> okay let's see so blunt weapon you should rest and meditate on what you've learned all right you realize that all your life you have been coasting wait you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream suddenly face well Technically, uh, this is this is a dream because you know Godhead. Yeah. S suddenly facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. So this whole time I've been dead. Okay. Need any elves? Hmm. <laughs> mm. He enjoyed dying. He enjoyed dying. That was nice. You got the better of me. So 
Go ahead. Okay. There is something I've noticed in these Elder Scrolls games. In no other scenario is everybody as united as when you screwed up and everybody's trying to kill you specifically. <laughs> okay, have, have, you no, have, you no, have you noticed that? Yes. Yeah, like, I guess we could, well, actually, let, let, let's go to Kai's Kasodis. Because, um, remember, he, um, he, you, you started telling me that when I was really far away from you, man. Okay, all right. Because remember, Kai is, because we're, 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 we're a spy, right, here in Morrowind, right? Right. And he told us to make like a mock identity, which is, you know, a freelance, you know, a fighters guild member. Hail. No. All right. Are you here to discuss your orders to you order? Or is there something else you want? Has fat anti anti bolus <laughs> at the Balmora fighters guild. We were just there, by the way. Ask him what he knows about the Nervine secret cult and the sixth house secret cult. I'm, I'm, I'm going to call them antibodies, antibodies and, and report back to me. <laughs> by the way. Asshat is a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little educate. No. Can't believe they released Skyrim again. I know that is. It's not ridiculous. <laughs> is this the fifth time? Um, I don't know. You're mine. Ew. What the... Okay, no, I don't want to fight you. It's very masochist. What? No. Get. Okay, this whole episode is weird, man. Okay, hold on. Let's go to let's go to ass hat antibodies. <laughs> let's go to ass hat. Let's go to yeah, that's his name now. We're, let's go to ass hat antibodies. Do you just wait here and just expect me to walk by and then you say that? Then that's your whole schedule for the entire day, man. Why? Woman. All right, and it, <laughs> that's my only response. <laughs> He's so done. Ugh. Okay. All right. Uh, ass hat and ass hat antibodies. Good day to Yoder. So you're with Caius, eh? And Caius wants information. Of course. There's there's a this for that involved. I require a so this guy is also an agent with the blades, and instead of being a normal agent, he asked for another agent to go do something for him that he could have done himself. To advance the mission. <laughs> okay. What do you want, man? Famous quest. There are Dwemer ruins nearby. Okay, he wants us to get a Dwemer, Dwemer puzzle box. By the way, one time I was so lazy that I spawned it. I just spawned it in my inventory, and he doesn't accept it. Then you have to do it this way. Oh wow. Yeah, it's it's so ridiculous. Like actually, there's there's also a Mage's Guild quest in Oblivion where you go to Skingrad. And the Count of Skingrad has information for you, but he want but some local um, vampire hunters have entered Skingrad, and he just wants them gone because he's a vampire. He, he just doesn't want them there, right? And so the uh, the vampire hunters are actually there for some vampires that are held up in a cave nearby at Skingrad. And so if you kill those vampires, get their get their vampire dust and then show it to the um vampire hunters they'll go away and then you can he gives you the the count gives you the information right right but if you think about it you could be tricky and just if you just so happen to have the right amount of vampire dust from anywhere else in the game then uh. yeah that you could right the devs specifically made vampire dust that you can only get from those vampires that works at this <laughs> quest. I'm like, guys, just come on. Let us be crafty. Let us be, you know, come on. Because that's really, you know, that's really kind of finessing them, right? You just take random vampire dust that you got like three days ago, right? And yeah. then just show them like, hey, you know, but you really actually didn't kill the vampires, right? You know, but like imagine going in, copying, pasting the item, but make that item only show up for that quest and only that vampire dust can... Yeah, it is a, it's the same item, but with a different ID. Yeah, with a different ID, and it only shows up for that quest, and the quest only accepts that vampire dust with that ID. All right, so basically we just had to get this puzzle box, but I think we're going to do that next time. I think we've had enough, enough with this. Hey, uh, how do you feel, asshat antibodies? You're mine. I'm getting out of here. This place is, this place is weird. And by getting out of here, I mean I'm going to end this episode. All right, everybody who's watching... I'm glad you enjoyed it just as much as Two Older has. Damn. 
Okay, stop sniffing. What? <laughs> this whole episode is weird. Okay, I just want to end it. Okay, so all right. Thank you guys for watching. Next episode, we're gonna we're gonna get the Dwemer puzzle box, and we're gonna continue the main quest. Uh, that'll be it for now. Uh, subscribe, like, do whatever. Hopefully, um.